What's up guys, it's Michael from Faith Family and Outdoors. Whew, on a beautiful, cold, whew, Saturday afternoon here in West Virginia. Yesterday I got off work, there wasn't hardly any snow on the ground. Wasn't any snow at all, I did snuff on the job. Uh, and then uh, this morning woke up and there's inch snow on the ground, an inch and a half maybe. I'm like, wow, the weather really drastically changes here in West Virginia day to day. I mean, it could be sunny, 60 degree weather. Next day, it could be in the 30s. And we're in the 20s, as it is today. <laughs> and be and have snow on the ground and icicles hanging off the... <laughs> Goats have done... Uh, whew, let me get out of here. You can get in the barn here again. Uh... <laughs> Everything has gone well. The goats have done a great deep feed them. We have fed them. We gave them grain, some hay, fed copper, all the animals, all our livestock is done. I keep forgetting the, my tripod. And I, I do want to apologize for not posting as much because it is hard to work where I do now and then try to come home and try to film. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do it. I did it today. I had a little bit of time to do it. Everything is going great. The goats are doing well. Our new male goats are doing great. Um, really, really cold outside. I've been giving them grain here now, and what I've been doing, I, I give them a sweet feed, and what I do, I give them a half a half a cup per goat I have. I have seven goats, so I'll give a half a cup for each goat I have, and then give it to that. That way, they're not over, don't get a lot, but I get some. And then, what I'll do when I feed grain, feed 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 hay along with it. I always give them hay, that way they can eat that and ha eat. The grain that way they can digest it better. And every time I come in here and get out of the wind, uh, they all come in here with me. So, but work is going great. Um, I love what I do. Uh, I know I've seen I've showed y'all some pictures of, of what I do, and uh, it's it's amazing. I love it. But not gonna lie, uh, this past Tuesday, <laughs> I. <laughs> About gave it up. Not going to lie, I scared to death, and I about said, no, I, this is not for me. Cannot do it. And so, I, I, I'm going to tell you that, and what happened, and you're going to laugh. Uh, this, this video probably won't be very long, but it's probably going to be hilarious, because I laughed my head off after the fa after what happened. Uh, not necessarily, um, uh, what are you doing? Okay. Um, but what ha what happened was the truck that I drive is a big 75 rock truck, and uh, they're <laughs> you've seen the pictures of them, they're huge, they're not little, and <laughs> they're 24 foot wide up from tire to tire on the front, 24 foot wide. So they're pretty big, they're pretty big little trucks, and um, they happen to get, it does get slick on the mines with the mud and everything, it does get a little slick. And I was driving, uh, driving it. Thank the Lord that I had my, my trainer with me, in there with me. Because if I didn't, I I don't know what would happen. But so we was driving, and uh, <laughs> and got around a sharp current. Of we caught it was a switchback. And we was coming out after a load. We was dumping, and it got it was falling out, and it was getting a little slick. So when I went around it, I pushed the gas, changed to get the gears to change, and. Um, <laughs> It fishtailed. I mean, it was going sideways. I panicked. <laughs> I grabbed my hands on both hands, both hands on that steering wheel. My fists were clenched so tight it was white. And my dry, my trainers over yelling, "In the gas! In the gas! In the gas!" And look, I'm over here like, "Oh my! I don't know what to do." I'm over here trying to drive this thing, and I'm I'm going trying to get in the gas, panicking because the truck's going sideways. I thought we was going to flip over. And he's over laughing at me, calm, and I, and I looked at him, I said, man, I'm glad you're this calm, because I about had a heart attack. And they were trying to, <laughs> they've been trying to give me a nickname at work. Most of some guys earn a nickname, and some guys don't, and they're trying to find me one. And, and I thought to myself, if they're trying to find me a nickname, I said, you just might as well call me Knee Knocker. Uh, because after that, 
because after that incident, my knees were knocking so bad, I, my legs were shaking so bad. After we got to the stop sliding, I couldn't push the gas back in. It was it, my legs were shaking so bad. My um, that when I was pushing the gas, it would sound like uh, uh, uh. I can't, I couldn't get in there at all, and I'm sitting here panicking. I used to don't eat a lot of job, and I don't. I, I I'm, I'm usually busy driving. I eat a few snacks here and there. And after that, I had to go down. It was, I mean, it was in the winter, and it was cold. I was sweating. I was sweating. I was hot. My face was hot. My face was red. I had to roll the windows down in the truck, turn the AC on. I froze my driver partner to death because um, I'm, free, I'm freezing to death. And I'm freezing to death. Um, it's freezing to death. I'm freezing him to death. I'm hot. I'm sweating. I'm, my leg's still shaking. I drank a whole bottle of Mountain Dew, a Gatorade, probably horked down seven Slim Jims. My nerves were shot, completely shot. I, I, I panicked. And the rest of the day, I drove with both hands, slow. Yeah, I told him, I said, if this thing's got hazards on, you better put them on too. Uh, I, Man, it was nerve wracking. Then the same thing happened yesterday. We was, it was snowing. It began to snow real bad and it got really slick. And I was, I mean, it was in a straight stretch. I mean, this wasn't no hill or no curve. I could barely keep the thing in the road. I mean, it, we're sliding around. But yesterday, I was more prepared for it because I knew it was expected. But Tuesday, that took me by surprise. And I, I, I panicked the whole time. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I about hung it up. Uh, my nerves were so shot after that day, I, I, I hung it up. But, you know, you're going to have days like that. It was really fun and hilarious. You can laugh about it now um, because, believe me, <laughs> I, I, I puckered a lot. I was so scared to death. Um, thankfully, I had my driver and my trainer with me because if I didn't, I, I don't know what would have happened. I probably would have parked it and said, you got to find me something better to drive because I said, I'm not driving this. Uh, but it all it all went well. And then I told my dad, and then I told the wrong person. And then now everybody's laughing at it. But um, you know, it, it was funny. It is now. But when that happened, uh, buddy, <laughs> wow! I was I, I was ner I was a nervous wreck. My nerves were shot the rest of the day. I, I, was, I mean, I drove calm and slow the rest of the day because of what happened uh but man i do love my new job love the mines uh, i mean it, it's been a fantastic it's been a great opportunity for me i have learned so much my first week in the mines and what how how it goes and met some good guys good, really great guys that have done this in a long time and really good guys to uh mentor me so looking forward to it i am the only red hat you know if you know what a red hat is a red hat is a miner that has zero experience he's like me a brand new fresh um and then you advance to after six months you advance to a black hat and you know but i'm our only red hat on the job over i think we have 200 some people hired in the mines and i am the only red hat they hired this year and i take that as a great honor and i'm glad they gave me a shot and i owed a lot of it to my dad um all of it to my dad he was able to pull some strings and get this you know recommend me and the guys met with me and gave me a shot and i i'm greatly appreciative of that it's been a, a wild ride this week i've had some crazy rides and some crazy times so i'm really looking forward to it looking for what is here to come after this week uh start monday through friday uh, get through this week most likely i will be signed off and be have give me a paper that says i'm able to drive this truck by myself and that is when the fun's going to begin because i'll be by myself and not sure how it's going to go but really looking forward to it and they'll put me on something else to train me on um but guys thank you so much for liking and subscribing i think we're up to 62 subscribers now um thank you thank you so much let's keep it going um i know this is a you want to see more outside stuff but a lot right now in the winter time there's not really much to do i mean feed here and there i mean that's not i mean something i know it probably would get boring and i apologize for it it's the same old stuff of me sitting here talking to you but until the warmer months come in there's not really much we can do right now but uh, play in the snow a little bit and i'm not a big fan of the snow now i like it around christmas time a little bit and stuff like that but i'm like mm. That's past. It's the 60, 60 and 70 degree weather. Now, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's my kind of weather. But, guys, thank you for liking and subscribing. Keep it going. We thank you. We thank you for all that you've done. Uh, I love it. 
I love doing this, and uh, hopefully as soon as this warmer weather comes up, we'll be able to do a whole lot more. But, guys, thanks so much for watching, and like always, I'll see you on the next video.